Hello, Internet. This is Kawa. As in, this. This is Kawa. And welcome back to Kawa Minds. So, uh, I just logged in randomly today and discovered that I am, in fact, the member of the day. Um, let me on F1. My name is not green because my name is too long to be green, apparently. Pigeon has the same problem of, of and, and so does dead, you know. But that's okay. I'm member of the day. This is probably completely random, but it still makes me feel pretty happy. Anyway, um, so, I have been working on various and sundry little things. I repaired my armor a bit. I need to repair the chest plate, which requires going to the ender ender, but I'm not going to bore you with that on camera. Um, okay, I'll check out Mobbin's thing later. Um, oop, too late for that message. Anyway, um, so, uh, also, uh, Garen is on, so folks are chatting. Um, and to answer Casey's question, I do not give out my Skype. I barely use it, and I don't have a webcam anyway, so I just don't give it out. Sorry, guys. Anyway, um, I've done a few things around here. Oop, there's some lag. Um, I finished the roof thanks to a couple- oh, god. This is- this is a little crazy. This is... This is really crazy. What- what? What is going on? I don't like this. Um... Anyway, uh... I've, I've been an active participant in a uh, Kygro LP stream before, which is how Garen recognized me. I haven't watched their streams in a while, which is really bad, and I'm really sorry. Anyway, um, I did finally finish this roof. I got a very kind donation. For, well, semi-donation. I think I gave, like, glowstone in exchange to Tennis Half Elven, who gave me a whole bunch of nether brick, and this let me finish this roof up. There's one place where it is actually really super awkward, which is right here, where there's this sudden level shift, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave it alone, because it's the back of the house and no one's really looking there anyway. But yeah, it's it's pretty much done now in terms of the exterior. I may add more floors beneath here, though there is a lava pool under here, so I will have to be careful. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Actually, let me um, speak of sounds. There we go. Oop. So, yeah. Today, what I think I'll be working on, if I have the supplies for it. Uh, let me drop these off. I need more iron and gold before I even start thinking about that beacon. Ugh, so poor. I don't want to think about it. Um, actually, let me just convert this. See if that's enough to start us off. Um... Yeah, so, the, um, I want to work on some stairs, um, from where the current, uh, portal is located over to, over to here. So. Let's go do that. And it's something quick to do while I chat. Uh, yeah. So I'm back. I've been back for a few days. I just went back to work today. Which is not nearly as exciting as I make that sound. I mean, I, I have an okay job, but it is pretty boring. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves here. And it's definitely... I don't want to call it beneath me, because 
I think saying that anyone's livelihood is beneath them is actually really rude, but um, it's definitely not what I could be doing given my skills and my background. I guess, I guess that's the best way to put it, is um, I'm trained to do more than that. And the fact that- dang it lag! Oh, oh is that just the one- oh no it's lag. I'm like we're not on the, the, the snapshot. That should not be a glitch here. But there we go. Okay. Um, let's just crank these bad guys up. I need to think of more creative lighting solutions for the interior of the house as well as some interior decorating. But that too will come with time, I think. And uh, these stairs will probably end up getting fancier too. But we will see and building is always a process so I am not too concerned about it. Anyway, um... So yeah, I, I got back to work, which was okay. Not great, but okay. Um, pays the bills, lets me get out of the house now and then, you know, is what it is. Uh, anyway, but I'm not going to give my Skype out public. I just, it's not ready at the moment for that kind of thing. And I heart, frankly, it's kind of useless because I'm probably never going to use it. So there's really no point in asking. Um, anyway, um, on to less depressing topics. I do have a dog. I haven't named- I haven't named it yet. What do you think? Also, what color do you think the, uh, the color should be? I really don't know. I also can't decide, like, gender neutral? Masculine? Feminine? What are you, puppy? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and this is a really haphazard staircase. And that's okay. It'll do for now. I think dog is in there somehow. Yeah. You can get out, dog. This is the only thing. I like having pets in Minecraft. I think it's a cute and interesting addition to the game and it's not like I dislike animals or anything. It's just they're really derpy. They're really derpy. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with them. Anyway, let's fill in this hole. Keep climbing upwards. Um, so yeah, back to work. Back to the normal grind. Um, really hoping I get a more stable job soon. Because the other thing about this, besides the fact that it's, you know, a little educationally out of my league, is that it's, you know, it's project based and that project is going to end soon. So it's really a temporary gig and I don't get health, in you know, I don't get health insurance from it or any benefits or anything like that. So I have to be an adult about it, even though... I love working for prep. I love working where I work. I just don't like what I do and I don't like that because it's a nonprofit they can't treat me better. Which is kind of ir sad and ironic if you think about it. But anyway, uh, so this is done. Really sloppy. But for now, It'll do. That's just a way up without having to hop constantly. I will clear some of this out as well. 
Maybe I'll grow some of the grass around here too, just to make it a little more pleasant to be around. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I need to decide what to do with the interiors, and I need to decide, you know what I really need? I need to find a place around here. Maybe some of this, and possibly some of that, eh, maybe, definitely some of this area will become an animal form of some description. Um, I want to keep this landscape what it is, but I also want to add something to it so it's not just giant ridiculous tree mounts. Um, I also want to, I want to do more interesting things. I definitely want to play around more with redstone. I was actually thinking as I was trying to struggle with what to do here that I could put eventually one of those automated chicken farms up here, have the chute go down this way and end up, you know, feeding into here, you know, and integrate that into the design somehow. Partially because I'm lazy and don't really want to figure out how these roofs connect, but also just because I think, you know, it'd look more interesting. That it, it'd do something useful for me that way. Uh, I am growing reeds all along here. I will, um, as a design element, and also because why not? Um, so, I, I, I need to figure out what else to do with this place while I gather enough resources for the beacon. Also, where to put the beacon. Um, originally, I was thinking over the actual, um, over the actual lake. So, if we can climb up here. Here we go. Uh, this is... This tree is one of the best views in the house of it. Um, the problem is, because this lake is pretty big, it actually wouldn't extend very far. I could have it, like, in the house or under the house, but I feel it would detract from the overall whole. I, I do eventually want to also dig... I may just spend some time just digging this out to be deeper so it can be more friendly territory to squid. If you, the squid can spawn currently in the deeper areas but they are not spawning anywhere else. What's nice is that this area is definitely inland and one of the only major bodies of water in the area below y equals 63. So it's a good spot for, uh, for squid. In that I, I want this, you know, just to be crawling with, you know, you know, for them to just swim around here and enjoy it. So that might be my next big thing is just clearing this out and making it look pretty and making the sort of crazy cephalopods garden type thing I've always wanted to make. I don't know. We will see. Um... But yeah, that's, um, I don't really have much to report. I feel so <laughs> lame. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have ideas, let me know, because I'm pretty low on them right now. The area is beautiful. I can cut down a lot of these trees. I actually overplanted it a lot to enhance the look. This also feels incomplete, but I don't know if I... So the lava lake is actually mostly in here. Like you can hear the lava really well. And I stand here-ish. Yeah. It's, it's all like back here-ish. But, um, so I don't know how much I want to cut into that. I mean, I can. I can move that lava. I can obsidianize it. But if it was an underground water lake, I'd integrate it into the build. But if it's an integrated, you know, lava lake, that's much harder. 
if you know you're not into uh, if you're not into lava walls or or um, glass covered lava floors, I guess would be your other major option. Okay. But yeah, I can take down these trees, but I, I definitely want it to at least be forested and perhaps at least a little more densely forested than the default. But of course it doesn't have to be nearly this thick, you know. I did originally have the idea of sort of having a parkour course around, you know, using the trees. But, I don't know. Um, that seems interesting, but it also now to me seems very busy. And people would not really have a goal in mind or a structure to go to or anything. So I don't know, if you have ideas, you know, let me know. What would you do with this space? Uh, keep in mind that I'm trying as much as possible. I mean, with the exception of the nether brick up here, which is actually kind of a mistake in terms... I don't think it's a mistake in terms of color scheme, but I think it's a mistake in terms of working well on a public server because it's so hard to get nether brick. Of course, that'll change in 1.5 because um, netherrack will become an ingredient of nether bricks or something along those lines. But since I don't think we're going to have access to those features for a very long time, like on the order of months, I'm not holding my breath for it and I want to do significant things sooner rather than later. And um, Sand generation still works in 1.4.6, it will be broken in 1.5, so, and I'm not afraid to use it for the sake of, um, things like this, for, for the sake of builds. Um, you know, whether that be lots of glass, or lots of, um, or lots of sandstone, I'm not afraid to use it. But yeah, um, so that's something to think about, um, for sure, something that we currently don't have much, um, access to is not something that I want for this build. Try to keep it to wood, stone, or sandstone, you know, base structures, and I mean, Wool, or wool. Wool is fine too. You know, just renewable things. Try to keep it so I can farm as much of the materials as possible instead of going mining for them. I do, thanks to many people's generous donations, have a good amount of things like a decent amount of glowstone, a good amount of lapis, stuff like that, but I don't want to use them in excess anyway. So, yeah, if you have ideas, um... I'm also trying as hard as possible to avoid mining um, for diamonds, like really strip mining type stuff in this area. I live relatively close to at least one of the admins, possibly more, and as well as some other, you know, people who are on a lot, so I, I don't want to intrude. I'll, I will keep above the surface as much as possible, which is why my iron supply is so pathetic compared to like... If I was on Minecraft or Hermitcraft, I'd probably spend the entire, like, days and days caving and just have all of the resources in order to do really crazy and awesome stuff. But I don't have those sorts of resources here, and I don't want to be the person who takes those resources from others who could use them. Why is that? That should be the other way around. Um, I just noticed that. Um, but yeah. All, uh, all of these are interesting ideas, and if you have anything specific you want to write- Oh, that's why. Hmm. Hmm. That corner is just so tricky, because, like, all these things are intersecting at weird angles, and none of them really are meant to jive with each other, and I don't know. I, I wanted to experiment with, you know, subtle, subtle multi-level things. I wanted to experiment with, um, 
you know, more, oh, there we go. That's much better. Um, you know, Anyway, um, but yeah, if you have suggestions for what I should do with this area, let me know. Also, what I can do to make this stairwell not look really derpy. Um, because I know it looks really derpy right now. Um, yeah, it's pretty cruddy. But, uh, what if I just, at the very least make it even that yeah yeah that does something for it what's nice it there's there's sort of this very nice you know there's these lines and then there's these lines and, and they all go together but still not in love with it probably needs more stuff around here definitely needs some lighting ideas for the inside here and that are interesting and I mean I could knock out some of these windows and replace them with, with light sources um, I could put it in the floor like I did with um, my other house I could on this floor I could definitely put it in the ceiling um, the ceiling is rather just dark and boring otherwise so and there's plenty of nice little niches for it, like right there, and uh, right here, you know, right along these. That's an option, or hide them in the corners or something. You know, there's always the fence option. I don't know, what do, what do you guys think will look best? I'm really an amateur builder at best, so... And keeping in mind that this stuff is so dang hard to find. I'm, I, I don't know if, I don't think I'll replace those. I, I like that sort of on stilts look. It reminds me of like old beach house. I mean, the materials are not beach housey at all, but the structure makes me think of like old Floridian or Filipino beach houses. And I like that, you know, reminiscent of that while still keeping to the very cosmopolitan New Yorkish brick. I think that combination of things speaks to my background very well. Mm. Mm. Um. Would we have to redo portals? Um. No, no limit nether is a terrible idea. Uh, I mean... I could see the nether being the same size. The problem is there's so much... There is a connection, because in Minecraft universe there's a connection between the size of the nether and the size of the overworld. Having a disconnect between the two just... Ugh. Ugh. It seems like it end poorly. For everyone involved. You know. But who knows. Um, I, I do want. One thing I am really. Really excited about. Is the. Recent announcement that. Yeb made of. Um, the quartz being turned into blocks much like sandstone from sand is how i'm guessing it's going to be where um another farming world 
Oh, wait, the future. Is that what? I really am. They they look so good. They look so interesting. And if they get um if they get slaps and stairs just like uh sand you know just like the others do I I will be the happiest, happiest person that ever happied like ever. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's going to be great. I, I think that's going to be awesome. So yeah, um, send me your ideas for this. I've been rambling on forever about nothing, which is always a bad sign. <laughs> um, send me your ideas about this area. Send me interior ideas. Oh, I need to extend that. Um, you know, things to do around here while I, you know, resource gather towards the beacon. Um, parkour. Also, actually, if you have a favorite parkour map that utilizes, that doesn't utilize command blocks, but utilizes the, um, the jump, the, the jump boost that came with 1.3, um, that would be cool. That would be very very cool and I, I think that would be very fun so uh, let me know what you think guys and yeah thanks so much for watching I will see you next time <laughs>